Hey guys, it's the Ivy Fan 2000 and today I'll be showing you guys all of my landline phones. Yeah, I have quite a few and many of them are pretty old. But anyways, let's get started. But before we start, basically almost all of the phones that don't have screens are basically untested. So I have no clue if they work. But the ones with the screens and the cordless ones, um, I do know work. So anyways, let's get started. So first up is this VTech one. I don't remember what this is. Um, this is the VTech 5881. And yes, this does work. Uh, what? Oh, censor that. Uh, yep works next up is this AT&T CL4940 yeah I think that's what's called and this also works and the the cord to the phone is kind of jambly but I don't mind Anyways, let's unplug this yep the CL4940 I used to love this phone, um, and I wanted to make it the house phone, but we don't have the line connected yet, so, nope, not yet. So, um, yeah, that's, um, unfortunate. Next is this. This is a Bell South phone. This is probably, um, one of the older phones I have, I think from, like, the early 90s what model is this this is the come on focus this is the 227v i bet this was um before at&t made phones um i don't know if this works um i got this from a yard oh yeah i forgot i got this from christmas um this year's christmas i got this for christmas eve two years ago and i got this from a yard sale last year almost last year um, but yeah, I think it's a really cool phone. Um, it has the, the, these things. And then it also had, like, an, another attachment with, like, numbers you can turn on. I don't know what's in there. Um, but yeah, it's a pretty cool phone. Next up is one of my new phones. I just got this today, along with this one, that one, and that one. And I got them all for free. That's insane. Um, this one was, like, $15.00. And then uh, those ones I didn't buy. So this is, oh, this camera is so hard to focus. This is a Conair phone. I never thought Conair made phones. I thought they just made um, hair dryers or those razors. Yeah, razors. And um, I don't know if this works. This is definitely very, very old. Um, I believe this is probably from the 80s. Oh, yeah, this thing, um, chimes, and of course it does. But this is a SW204. Yeah, that's the model. Next up is this very ancient relic right here. This is probably the oldest one I have, I think. This is the... Um, Refurb Co. Um, I think it's the 0902. I think that's what it's called. But I don't know if, if this is true or not. But it says January 15th, 1992. I don't know if that's when this phone was made or not. Or if that's when, like, it was registered or something. Or that's just some random date on there. But... Yeah, um, there's a little piece of paper there because I had to censor a phone number I couldn't get rid of. Yeah, that's unfortunate. But yeah, all of these phones were very, very dirty when I got them because they were in that house for such a long time. But I managed to clean them all off. And this one was probably the dirtiest. No wonder it was so old. But yeah... I couldn't get this stuff off. Come on, focus. Yo, this is the iPhone 14, and it's not wanting to focus. 
Um, as you can see, there's like a little bit of corrosion or whatever that is, like rust, and I can't get it off. So, and why is this thing not focusing? I hate this camera. All right. Anyways, um, yeah, I think this is probably one of my favorite because of favorites because it's so old, maybe. But yeah, it didn't come with one of those connectors, um, fortunately, and neither did this one. But yeah, next up is this. This is the um, GE something. I don't know what this is. This is like the GE, the 2 dash. 9223BKB. It's a quite long phone number. Um, this phone um, is probably the most modern out of all of the phones I got um, in the today's collection because um, I think it's from the 90s, mid 90s probably. But um, yeah, it was also the easiest to clean. The other ones were very hard to clean, especially you. And this one was really hard to clean, too. I don't know why I said you. But, yeah. Hide that phone number. And, yeah. All right. Next up is this. This is a Radio Shack Duo Phone 145. And um, this uh, was also very dirty. And it also doesn't come with one of those um, cord cable things. Um, yeah. There used to be um, a bunch of names in this. But I took it out for privacy reasons and then it came with this cord i believe this is a power adapter or it probably is definitely is i think but um i tried plugging it in and it um it didn't turn on and it does have batteries on the back but i was too lazy to put them in um this one actually has a date on it just like this one never mind um this is from 1984 and it's the 104652, that's the model number. Um, but yeah, and that's pretty much it. This phone is quite useless. Next is this phone. This is the, move out of the way. This is the Petro phone. Yeah, I don't know if that's a typo or if that's generally what it's called. But it says the model number is CTN8020. And here is the manual. I don't know why I have that out. But yeah, this phone is pretty cool. Um, it isn't old at all. I bought this um, brand new. Um, I'm guessing this was just like a um, recall phone. Oh, not recall, like like bring you back to the 80s phone. I, I don't know what that means, but yeah. Um, this phone looks kind of cool. Anyways, now let's move on to this phone. This is the Panasonic, um, what is this? This is the KX TG7641. Yeah, um, this works perfectly fine, um, sort of. But yeah, it has, um, all five of these phones. I got this phone at um, the same yard sale I got this one at. Um, and then also, um, I forgot to mention, I got this one on one of my birthdays. But yeah, like I said, um, it does work except um, the stand broke off. See, um, it's like missing a chip and it won't go in no matter how hard I try. Let's plug it in. Ugh. Okay, so okay. And then um, most of the um, phones work, but a lot of them say, um, actually, no. Th like, three of them, um, only two of them work. The rest of them um, don't work because two of them say um, that it, like, needs, like, something i don't know what or i think they boot loop or something and then one of them says um dead batteries and um yeah i believe um number one and three or four worked i think number two and number three um didn't work at all but yeah no answer off yeah no answer off <laughs> um anyways we can just unplug this because now I need to use it for this phone. 
This is a Panasonic um, KXTGD530. Um, this I got at my grandparents' house, um, and they gave me this phone. No message. No message. No message. Okay. Answer on. Answer on. Why does it look so weird in here? It's like so weird. Why does it look like that? Oh, someone's calling me, and I don't have the base. Um, no it's message. Just shut up. Um, but yeah, I don't need this Answer anymore. Off. So shut up. I don't need that anymore. Next up is this. This is the AT and T. Um, what is this? E L five two five zero zero, and this also works. But yeah, let's plug this in really quickly. Oh, I have a few messages. Time and day not set. Yes. That was kind of loud. Um, but yeah, I also got this at once again the same yard sale as each three. What? At each three of these phones. Yep. Um, this most of these work fine. I actually think all of them work perfectly fine. But yeah, it's all dead. And yeah, that's it for all of the regular um, landline phones. And then now it's time for these two. Um, these are just like um, other ones I got. Um, this is like a VTech base. Um, its model number is never mind. I don't know what the model number is. But um, yeah, it did have a um phone that came with it i got this at another yard sale not the same yard sale as these ones but um i don't know where that went and i also don't know where the, well I, I think i know where the power adap power adapter is but it would be useless um if i don't have the phone and then this is a phone for a base of another landline phone that i had i don't know what happened to it but i disconnected shut up and um i don't know what happened to it but this was, I think, unbranded. Um, um, I, I, it does work, or it did work, because um, they, we tested it before. Um, but yeah, I never saw it get tested, so yeah. And that is my entire landline phone collection. Shut up. Thanks for watching the video. Like it, subscribe, and leave a comment, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.